Recreational Outrage. Go back to work after this. It's gonna be, I was do you like, really? I'm gonna crush a couple beers. Hell yeah! And then <laughs> that's the best way to do your break, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Podcasting a couple beers. <laughs> it's the future of um, breaks. Yeah. I had to like wake. Are we recording? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Um, we just had a uh, uh, a group of teenagers come. I work in an escape room. Okay. Uh, which is dope. Yeah. But we just had a, a group of teenagers come in, and you're like, worry. You're always worried about kids. Like kids are a problem. Like even like, I had a group of like 12 year old girls come in, and they were the worst. Like they were the most like. And it, it was like, I like said something like in the intro to like get them into the room. I was like, you know, please don't like break anything. And I was like, you guys probably aren't get really capable of breaking. And one of the girls just looked at me like, motherfucker, what? Like, yeah. Watch how much stuff yeah, we break. She's like, dare me, fucking homo. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and then, yeah, she did. She was just like pushing on shit. Like, try, like it was wild. It, like, it was the, such a stressful like hour just like watching them. That's how I am at fun. Meow Wolf. I just started pushing on the walls yeah, and shit, breaking break things, things off. Fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, you just assume instant. everything's like a door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I haven't been in Meow Wolf. Is Meow Wolf just like a big escape room for people on acid? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind, kind of, of is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like walking through somebody's diorama. Oh, a diorama. Yeah. yeah, if it was like somebody ate a diorama and then puked it out. It was a diorama. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, I don't know, it's some lame. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those things where it's like a box and then you build on the inside a little like world inside of it. Oh, uh, like a, okay. Yeah, like like, a, like a ship in a bottle kind of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. kind of right. like that. All right. But anyway, dude, like so we had... We had uh, this, these, like, five teenage boys came in, and they were like, uh, can we just, like, leave our skateboards down here? And I was like, yeah, this could go either way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, this could really. I was like, yeah. And then they, like, get up into the room, and, like, you lock them in. And then, like, I go downstairs. I'm, like, watching You really them. do lock them in? Yeah, totally. Totally. Like, <laughs> if, by the way, if I was working alone, they get totally, like, because we make them lock their phones up and yeah. shit. Like, they you can just take them. Well, yeah, 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 those are my children now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna raise them, dude. Did you guys hear about that whole cult of like, uh, uh, uh what's the safe way to say this? Um, e- Eastern people, Asian, yeah. <laughs> okay. people they, of the Orient. Yeah. Uh, that, one's, that one you definitely can. Human Oriental rugs. Uh, yeah, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> they uh, they like had a lady in her ba- in their basement. And they had them in like uh, totally. tortured, like tied up, and they were like doing experiments on them and shit. Nice. Yeah, they got caught. Uh, four out of the five, their last name was Lee. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. And then they got labeled as like a gang because of how intense they were about it. Yeah. It was like uh, ritualistic shit. That's awesome. Yeah. I think they said it was religious, and they were like, good try. It's not like ICP. The idea of the idea of like have like by the way I want them in there less than the hour that I have to give them yeah to do the that they paid for they paid yeah. for an hour and I'm like I'm like dude half an hour and I'm like get the fuck out of here this yeah. is crazy <laughs> kids suck but dude, but dude these kids came in and like I like you worry about like the next generation of kids or whatever oh yeah and these kids are probably like fifteen maybe like probably like fourteen through sixteen I don't know how yeah. old, you know. Uh, but like they got up into the room and I like, as soon as I get downstairs, like I, we have like cameras and shit, we can hear them and like watch them and shit. And, uh, just one of the kids, like they get up there and I like put on the audio and immediately one of the kids is like, Hey, can everybody just shut the fuck up? For a second? <laughs> I was like, these guys are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they fucking, dude, they, they like, cause there's like two, like there's like two rooms that they have to like, they have to get into one of the rooms. Yeah. And they got into one of the rooms. There was five kids, and like three of them were in the second room, and they shut the door. Yeah. 
uh, like locking the other two in the in the and first so they had room. to figure oh it out God. by themselves. And then, they, and then they were like, I just hear them go, yeah, dude, we locked you two in there so you have time to make out. You like, <laughs> fucking gay queefs. I'm, like, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. I was so worried that like kids were going to like not. They can like, still be cool. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, they were like about to solve something. And they like you have to like turn the electricity on in the room and then type in a password. And one of them was like typing in the password on the computer, and another kid just turns off the electricity. Everybody's like, "Fuck you, dude!" I was like, "Hell yeah, dude!" I was just fucking. They're like, still animals. Yeah, yeah, dude, totally. And I like we can't like. If we had our way, we would have just been like high fiving them, like they just want a baseball game. <laughs> yeah. like, you guys are so fucking cool, just like b- using homophobia against your friends <laughs> you in twenty twenty three. Yeah, it makes you feel better about the next generation, you know. Absolutely, like, I the felt... kids are alt right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, dude, right after that, had a fucking kid come in, uh, like a bunch of kids. They were like older, probably like eighteen, and one of the kids had like yeah, you know, like racist like rune. <laughs> tattoos and, and total queef like the shittiest kit and you're just like oh yeah yeah like you're the douchebag calling your yeah. friends gay is like very funny and like <laughs> light hearted and then you just get like that little bit further yeah, and you're like there's always the, that kid. the most annoying fucking person his name was Jesus in our group which is weird <laughs> but. was it like Jesus or no it was a white guy that was also a juggalo. I don't think his real name was Jesus, but that's how I oh my god wow. I always knew him at, no, he was, proclaimed Jesus that's the next level yeah yeah, dude. Jesus, just, a juggalo Jesus, dude. That's that's dangerous. In I these think there parts. was one of those at the gathering, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. yeah. I'm pretty sure there was a guy walking around pretending to be Jesus. It's probably the same guy. I've had uh, old Hispanic ladies walk up to me and start, you know, really putting hands on him. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. That's great. Yeah. That would be so ironic if Jesus came back looking like you. He'd be like, the fuck, bro? <laughs> Jesus would have a podcast. Yeah, Let's yeah. get it real. He would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God's network. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good to see the kids. Uh, yeah. Doing well. Yeah, it's always great. <laughs> that You know, there's hope. I don't know. Thank God they got out of that cage you put them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, dude, like, uh, it is uh, the concern of mine. I'm like, because it's like, if I just die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I have a heart attack, which it's anybody's guess, <laughs> whether or not I have one any given day. Uh, yeah, their phones are locked up. Like they might not. It'll be. Like it's just a, gonna be in there. It'll be a thing, dude. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like it's not gonna be cool. <laughs> well, kids, you really gotta get out of this one. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. Have I you haven't ever done an escape room? I don't. I don't know if I want to. No, I'm terrible at that. Shit. Like I get yeah. so. Like I'm just the idea of it. Like I'm very. Like I'm a comic, so like I'm good at talking to people. And, and like I can be entertaining, like at the drop of a hat, which is very like. So I'm good at running them, you know what yeah, I mean? Sure. Um, there's a like joke around with them, and shit. it's very cool. But uh, but yeah, doing them, I'm like, oh, this is it's frustrating. It's like I don't want to solve any more problems right. than the ones I f- actually have in life. <laughs> like, have you ever I, had? A, have you ever had anyone freak out? Looks like they couldn't get out. No, huh? I th- I we had like a girl come in that was like, uh, she was like a foreign exchange student from like Denmark. Sounds like a idiot. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> but she was like very like concerned about like because some escape rooms have like people like jump out at you and shit. Yeah, and we're like a, it's like a very mom and pop. Yeah. Like escape room. It's just, just locked and you need to figure out where yeah. it's locked. Yeah. Yeah. It's like me and another dude. It's like, it's so fucking like stripped down, uh, which the autistic people love. Yeah. You know course. what I mean? They're just like, just I just want to do that. <laughs> well, no, they, they just, they're like, how, how many more uh, puzzles? We actually had a kid get mad because he was like, the puzzles were hard, but I want I don't want, I want like kind of hard puzzles, but I want a lot of them. And we're like, <laughs> first of all, there's not enough puzzles here. That's crazy. First of all, the room you just spent an hour in smells like shit now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have <laughs> very little patience for what you're about to fucking <laughs> criticize. <us> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Poopy Pants doesn't like our puzzles. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, don't come back. Like, <laughs> he doesn't know it's not socially acceptable, though. You know. Plus, totally. I, you know, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. this guy shits his pants on the pants yeah. on the regular. <laughs> well, it, you know, it's 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 fine. People are, you know, people have different uh, ideas of hygiene. I guess. Yeah. Oh man, 
I smelt my pits this morning. They were pretty bad. Really? Oh, yeah. I thought you said piss. I was like, I was about to be like, dude, me too, bro- brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was this close to bringing a jar of piss. For what? For fuck? Oh, for, for the bit. <laughs> dude, I keep forgetting about that. That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Corey has a bit about jars of piss. And podcasting. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I forget the bit. I just wish I... Um, I, like, just over the last, like, year, like, started using, or probably, like, year and a half started using the Google Docs to, like, house all my material. Okay. But before that, you would just periodically, like, lose everything you've ever done. Yeah, like, you just <laughs> blank. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> in, like, in the middle of a set, you'd be like, oh, no, this is bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'd, well, like, you just have, like, an old bit that you did for, like, a month. Yeah. You know, in, in, in 2020. Mm-hmm. That's gone now. Like, yeah. cause you just like lost your phone or like, dude, I accidentally deleted a notes app once. Mm-hmm. Just oh, everything. No. Yeah, dude. Just deleted the whole app. And it was like, it was very easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> I got so for me to do it on accident. dude. Damn. I have a voice recorder app that has all the stuff and I've never even thought about the fact that it's all in one app. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just did that too, dude. I, it was after I did, after I won fucking slut down, dude, because I never record sets ever. Congrats, by the way. But thank you. It was yeah. uh, I, that story fucking murdered. It was awesome. Yeah. But, but like I co-wrote that bit with O'Shea, who was with me in the for the listeners. I told a story about being in a foursome. Um, <laughs> and one of the participants was O'Shea. Was O'Shea Bogus? Man, that was a stinky uh, a foursome. The show. He's he's been on the show, right? <laughs> yeah, a long, a, re- uh, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. That's how he's, he's in New York now. I had no idea. He's yeah, always he posting uh, videos of sick ass concerts and shit. Yeah, I'm going out there uh, in November. We're going to go see Doja Cat. Dude, it's yeah. going to be fucking sick. Whoa. Just the oldest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just old. I mean, we're not white, but we look so white. <laughs> yeah. Two like, cool white dudes in the back just yeah. like fucking singing along to fucking I think Doja. you're going to be in a crowd of people like that too, though. She, I, pr- she must have like a weird audience. Like if we're into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now like, she's doing all like this demon shit. She probably knows yeah. that it, her audience digs it. It's getting weirder. Yeah. 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 Like it's like O'Shea listens to a lot of ho rap because he's like a he's like a a, a, a slutty black girl at heart. Right. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I always knew it. He really For sure. yeah. And then yeah, I don't know how I got into it, but uh but yeah, I love the Oshika. It's really oh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like listen to fucking like like seventies prog rock and Doja, <laughs> like, <laughs> like outlaw country, and then Doja. <laughs> yeah, I, it's fucking psychotic. Waylon and Doja. Yeah, she dude. rocks, dude. When she started, she had that first banger of yeah, "Bitch yeah. I'm a Cow." Yeah, yeah, and, and that's a, yeah. Really, that's the name of the song, "Bitch I'm a Cow." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wow, she dressed like Bitch. a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say meow. Bitch I'm a like cow. cow. She's like funny because she is like super <laughs> talented and like uh and. and like prolific, but also she just has like dipshit internet humor. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, dude, for it's, sure, it's very like fucking cool too. You know, yeah. like I think see. that is almost like memes are the way to success now. Yeah, like I do think that even just making yourself into a meme or figuring out a way to make your song into like if you can just hit the right viral wave. I've had I've had pro like I. It, it was like year, like a couple of years ago or something like that. I had like this long bit that I wrote and it was like a very like kind of meme heavy, like, and I'm not like a Reddit or like a 4chan guy or anything like that. I can just like, I can pick up on like some stuff. Yeah. And you're not on Reddit or 4chan. No, really? No, I'm very like internet. I, like I'm on TikTok. Uh, but I've kind of ruined my TikTok. Like it used to be just like people with, uh, uh, mental disabilities. That, that was a golden age, uh, which I could go on and on about. But Suddenly <laughs> my, my Instagram algorithm has started showing me like people with down syndrome cooking. Okay. Right, I'm yeah, not, really, guys rule. I'm not really yeah. sure why. I don't know what I did, but that used to be like my whole, like I cultivated it was me and like two other dudes that were comics that were like cultivated. Yeah. All three of us were like cultivating, of uh, our TikToks to only show us uh, people with intellectual disabilities. Yeah. yeah. And um, Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. And uh, yeah, uh, Tart Talk, we called it. Uh, it was, <laughs> um, Culinary Arts. But, but it was great. It worked like it was so, like that, that app was like so genius for like six months. And then uh, they just like, they like banned some people. Yeah. Uh, for, like there was a guy. Uh, called Johnny Autism 
that he was just this guy from Wisconsin. I'm so glad to be able to talk about this. If you haven't heard about it. I haven't. No. Perfect. (laughs) (laughs) Johnny I talked about this for, I'm going to tell you the same thing. I, I told Ethan Everhart. Uh, shout out to Ethan Everhart uh, on his podcast, but then he fucked up the recording, so none of this made it on. So I'm so glad it's gonna get on the record. Hell yeah! Make sure it's uh, recorded. Yeah, is, it, is my mic working, dude? Because make sure for fucking sure. <laughs> so th- it was this dude from like Wisconsin uh, that ha- that would just like document his uh, severely autistic son Johnny. Who oh, was like, so it's the dad recording. It's the dad recording, and he's like doing uh, like voiceover and kind of explaining shit. Okay. And Johnny, like Johnny's like 22, 23, something like that. Um, and basically, like the whole like the whole relationship, the, him and his wife have just been kind of imprisoned by this kids for twenty three years. Yeah. Totally. Like so, it's this is gonna be insane. What I'm everything I'm gonna tell, you, it's gonna be awesome. So like the first video I, I saw, he was like. Uh, Johnny comes up to him and he's like bald. He's like bald. He's like a little old man. He's like 23, but he's like hairy shoulders. He never wears a shirt at home. And he like, <laughs> he like comes up to his dad and he hands his dad like a flash card, like a laminated flash card that just has a picture of a bag of shredded cheese on it. And, uh, he's like, all right, well, he's got the fucking Wisconsin accent. He's like, all right, well, Johnny's coming up to me and he's handing me a, a card that's got some cheese on it, which means uh, he's ready for a snack. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here and grab a bag and he just grabs a bag of shredded cheese, pours it into a bowl and then just fucking gives it to Johnny. And then Johnny is like, because that's all he'll eat, dude, is like, he, he wears a, Johnny wears adult diapers, dude. He like will only eat cheese and like Capri Suns. Well, you need a diaper on when that's all you've got going into your system. Cheese and Capri Suns, dude. That's yeah. fucking... Dude, and... Sounds like the life, to be honest with you. No, totally. That's well, how they made is, the hydrogen bomb. This is the thing, like, the, every, like, everybody in the comments, like, at the beginning, everybody was like, he, he's not eating, like, any healthy food or whatever. And the dad's like... Basically, he's just saying, like, yeah, well, you come try to give him something because we've been doing this for 20 years and uh, we can either give him the cheese or he can beat the fucking shit out of us. Uh-huh. Like, that's, what's, yeah. that's what we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> and we've, so, like, they have a bunch of two liters of soda. Johnny will come up to him and give him a card for, like, soda if he, when he wants soda. He has a special blue cup. With a straw in it. This card system it doesn't sound bad. It's not bad. No, I mean these guys like have worked out like a system. I just caught a nap, by the way. That was nice. Did you see that? Yeah. Like, that was tight. <laughs> like have worked out like a system. I just caught a nap, by the way. That was nice. Did you see that? Yeah. Like that was tight. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking John, like he comes up to him, gives him the thing for a soda. And so they will grab a two liter of soda, crack it open. They have to marry the bottles so that it always seems like it's a brand new. Uh, yeah, that crap. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it has to be a new bottle, or he of soda, won't drink it, or he won't drink it. And then they fill up the cup entirely with the coke. He'll put the lid back on, hand it to Johnny. Johnny will, uh, he'll take one sip, and then run to the bathroom, open the cup, and throw the rest into the bathtub. Oh. Every fucking time, what? it's yes, it's every, and that's every aspect of this dude's life is just doing all these. Insane things to like placate wow. uh, his severely autistic son. Yeah, and like when he comes home, he has to like make sure that the like these like four things. He has like a whole setup. He's like, like make sure that the screensaver is not going on the computer because Johnny hates that. Yeah, make sure that the garage door is either open or closed. I forget which one, but if it's not the right way, he, he freaks out. He does not fucking like it. He just he has a laptop and he just blares Christmas music. <laughs> all the time so it's just a guy go- it's just a grown man this sounds like bam margera level dude. of just <laughs> fucking with phil dude, i'm telling you like bam margera is a fucking amateur <laughs> compared to the, like you think that he like going and punching phil in the stomach Physical while he's sleeping nothing, nothing yeah. and nothing compared to the psychological yeah. torture so he's just like a, he's <laughs> a guy johnny <laughs> johnny autism is just like wearing basketball <laughs> shirts basketball shorts no shirt holding a laptop that's blaring christmas music and just pacing around the house furiously he doesn't talk. It's the it's the fucking craziest Imagine thing. And, like, and then he just hands a card for everything he yeah, wants. And then he's like, I, and they have to like, uh, he, like if, if Johnny's like agitated, uh, they will give him cheese with like Lowry seasoning salt in it because like that'll like jolt him out of. Oh my god! Like yeah. smelling salts. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, we figured out Lowry's seasoning salt is like poppers for the autistic. <laughs> oh, shit. That is crazy. Wow, it was the best. Uh, what, so, I, I want to know, like, what's the card he puts forward when it's time to put on adult television? Some adult well, films. Well, oh, dude, see, this is the thing, by the way. This is the fucking, I'm going to tell you guys the hardest I've ever laughed in my fucking life. It was like during this time, we were kind of getting to the tail end of the golden era of TikTok, but we were all oh, aware dude. of this. And me and O'Shea were uh, tripping on mushrooms in my apartment. And at some point... Watching Johnny Ots' yeah, videos. We were, yeah, we were talking about Talk it. about it like it's the 70s. We were talking... Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're tripping yeah, hard. It was like, it's the yeah. end of the love period. It's yeah, all like about to the, crumble. Yeah, I'm like talking about seeing the Grateful Dead in the Meadowlands. <laughs> <laughs> like, Corporate like, breeds right around the corner. The best show I've ever seen. <laughs> But truly, dude, it was the hardest I ever like. Because we were just sitting there talking about Johnny Autism. And O'Shea just kind of brought it up. Like, very... He wasn't, like, trying to make me laugh or anything. But he was just like, oh, and you know he's just, like, furiously masturbating all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just around the house. And I had... Ne- for some reason, that had never occurred to me. All oh. the months I'd been watching Johnny Autism. And the thought of that, of him just, like... <clears throat> holding a laptop blaring Christmas music <laughs> and jacking off while his dad like tries to get him in an arm bar or something just tries to get him please stop putting I, salt in his mouth yeah he's, yeah. Like, <laughs> he's pouring Lowry's in his mouth just him. and I fucking laugh I started laughing so hard dude I'm like I like pushing him away pushing O'Shea away from me because he's just keep like just saying what's yeah. <laughs> what must be the case yeah. I, and I'm like trying to leave my apartment and I lock the door and I like can't I'm laughing too hard to like <laughs> find the lock so oh my fucking God. funny dude that's so that is hilarious and now it's just a fucking dude like that, like showing you how to like braise ribs it fucking blows like yeah it's it's fascinating what parents do put up with you know like what's yeah that guy's a saint like he for like sure. him and his wife it's like that's their whole life now yeah and he has like, like that was kind of was what was interesting about it, is he had no like ounce of like and i'm sure he did like you know when Johnny was like ten or whatever. Yeah. But like, at well, he was normal before the vax. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, hey, Johnny was actually he was going to be a, a engineer. Yeah. <laughs> but then he took the vax and he changed. Yeah, dude. Got that jab, dude. He <laughs> His brain went extra powerful. Yeah. But yeah, the guy was like a saint. He like really was like he's like yeah, this is my life now. Yeah. And he's just like showing it, and yeah, and then they like. Uh, it really, the, I think that was that the dad was like too good at marketing. Like just coming up with the name Johnny Autism was such like, yeah, like fuck everything Mad Men ever. Like, <laughs> dude, yeah. like Johnny Autism was such a a great. If, I can't believe there's not a punk band named that in like oh, 1988. You know, it I mean? should have been like the lead singer. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. He he sounds like the guy who got kicked out of the Sex Pistols. So yeah, I think yeah. he was like trying to get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's where that's the reason why I said vicious to have Nancy because <laughs> she wouldn't give him fucking shredded cheese. <laughs> he overdosed. He overdosed on season salt. <laughs> By the way, I did fucking when we were tripping. I did give I poured fucking poured seasoning salt into O'Shea's mouth, like yeah. to test it out, and he was like, "Yeah, it does something." Like it definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the Lowry yeah. Salt Challenge. Yeah, it definitely. Just like, shut your kids up. <laughs> yeah, it's got it. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just, yeah. Because, like, that's like why, like, I'd say people, like, walk on, like, the balls. Their feet. I forget which one is the balls. But the top. They, yeah. They're like, like that, like, the idea of, like, novel locomotion. So, like, novelty is, is like, that's novelty is such an intense thing for, depending on where you are on the spectrum. Right. I think that, like, uh, it sounds like when you put alcohol on a baby's gums. You know, just to simmer yeah. them down a little. Just to like, yeah, just to like get them, loosen them up so that they are more likely to make out with you. <laughs> Come on, kid, be cool. <laughs> yeah. now, now we know why you run an escape room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to introduce our guest. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> we do. Um, I got a whole thing written out. We got plenty of stuff to get to. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm glad you can make it. Me too, man. Me, yeah. me too. I haven't, I haven't like podcast in a while. I'm like, yeah, forgot that it's great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've been having some wild ones lately. It's Good. been fun. Good. Yeah, no porn this time. I promise. No, 
By the way, dude, I want unless I, Johnny Autism has yeah. some. <laughs> no, my dude, it's a, a pitfall of podcasting, dude. Is like you're like, we can't show porn. We've done that last five episodes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we have to stop. <laughs> it's becoming a problem now. Yeah, right? Totally, no, I sympathize. <laughs> Uh, recreational outrage. Welcome to the podcast. I'm here with Dylan Cantor. Hello. And we got Corey Cooley today. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming, dude. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do the intro music now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, it's happening Just, right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this intro music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best in the biz. <laughs> and we're back. All right. Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice hell yeah dude welcome oh yeah right on uh, um yeah go ahead Please i was just gonna on. say we've been starting lately with a few like uh hot seat questions uh, uh, hot seat questions yeah, yeah yeah go ahead fire them off dude. um yeah these questions are timed okay so you want to be quick about it yeah, yeah yeah i can uh yeah i got you okay yeah i'm a i'm a professional yeah you prepared your answers well, no, I didn't know what the questions were going to be. But Just wanted to show how authentic the bit is. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea, but I'm going to, yeah. Thank God. All yeah. right. <laughs> All right. First question. This is a classic. We've done this forever. Corey's, what's your favorite conspiracy? Uh, Doesn't well, I, have to be one you believe in. Um, I have a bit about one, but uh, I don't want to do that. Um, I don't know. The... Um, um, Oh man, there's just so many good ones. Did you uh, see that uh uh someone opened a JFK 2020 2024 account on Twitter and it got verified? No. Yeah. And it's since been it's since been like suspended. I just but I just yeah. saw it. If you want to have a, And then I guess someone said that cuz RFK Jr. uh he's suing the DNC for not allowing him to do for not doing primaries and for all these weird rules that they're making. And uh, <coughs> did he just do Bobby Lee's podcast? Yeah, he's been doing a bunch of comedy podcasts. But yeah. he, uh, so he filed a lawsuit against what them. The hell? <laughs> now listen, so the whole big like conspiracy is that like JFK, JFK Jr. are going to somehow come back to life, right? Yeah. yeah. So then this JFK twenty four or twenty twenty four okay. thing comes up the same day RFK sues the DNC. It says Robert Kennedy Jr. in like the first initial part of this in the of the suit yeah. and every time every other time it mentions the plaintiff it says john john f kennedy jr oh wow yeah that's true. really i yeah. just i just saw a video of uh bro, by the way pizzagate is just the best yeah that one is, it's just so everywhere and it's you know we have a comic who has played music in that basement at the comic no yeah comet pizza or whatever yeah that they claimed when they had no basement. Yeah, yeah. No, well, he no, he played in the basement. He played. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. But like the official story. Well, I guess maybe it wasn't the basement, basement, but they definitely have a basement. <laughs> they for sure have a basement. I oh, know. I just I just saw a clip of uh, on fucking Leno. Yeah. Uh, JFK Jr. reading a poem written by a nine year old Monica Lewinsky about uh, being a slice of pizza. What? I yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude? I'm dead serious. I'll show a you. A poem I'll written by Monica talk, Lewinsky. Yeah, and, and cut, and, cut that in right I mean, here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that in right here. Uh, yeah I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. That's crazy. Was, yeah, Seinfeld is like next to him, like ah, hi. Yeah. And she's like, and it's like it's like very. Seinfeld's like, I love nine year olds. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's not like it's not like it fucking Jerry Seinfeld is a stranger to like fucking super young pussy. Yeah, exactly. That's He's, um, that was the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make it for yeah. the audience. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the, and the poem's crazy. It's like uh, you know, I'm a slice of pizza. I'm your mouth's best friend, and like hey, you I'll make get you the say yum and shit. It's that crazy, sounds like dude. pizza. Pizza is the mouth's best friend for sure. I, that, by the way, I love pizza. That's yeah, what sucks. yeah, but yeah. I can't see that on a podcast because people will be like, he's talking about eating children. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, little little. It is, Tony's. and then when JFK Jr. died. He was when he was running for Senate, and then the person who took his place was Hillary Clinton. Really? Yeah. Really? That, see, this is what I'm saying. It's like very. By the way, that like just is, that is Hillary, JFK Jr. Any is Hillary related to uh, P Funk Clinton? 
Yeah, that's her dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a bunch of pictures of her in like giant star sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> she really does like hot sauce. Huge bell bottoms. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, but like it throws a wrench in the gears of the whole like QAnon shit because it's like, why is JFK Jr. now like making pizza jokes? Right. Yeah. Next yeah, yeah. to Seinfeld from Mon- like a nine year old Monica Lewinsky. These are all like. Oh, so, so it wasn't. Was, it was something that he wrote? No, Monica Lewinsky Monica, wrote the poem. Oh, when she was nine. When she was nine. Okay. And then JFK Jr. found it and then read it aloud this after on like, Leno. After the whole after the whole thing. Yeah. This sounds like Whoa. the guy who found the tablets. The tablets? Moses? Are you talking about Joseph Smith? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Moses. Oh, no. Dude, when I first saw the clip, I like, because I don't What's know What's happening? How, <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> this is your girlfriend like- getting kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's been taken. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> None of us have any special yeah. skills, dude. Yeah. Hey, you We're all just podcasting. Yeah. Well, I, I can make a lot of dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> she ends up at Comic Pizza. Yeah. I have a spe- I have a very special lack of skills that's a daydream for people like you. Yeah. I will not be getting her back. Yeah. I will not find you. Yeah. <laughs> You will be fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Uh, Send me some videos, you know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Johnny Autism just swooped up my gal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but that it does. Th- I, well, first of all, because I don't know how time works, I was like, is he reading this like before this all happened? Right. If that would have been the case. Then, then yes, something like definitely is, but it's just, it's, there's too many creepy things about pizza game that are just like, and also that we just totally gave up on it. Oh yeah. We just totally, we were like, they what did happened to the name Monica. No, like Monica knew. was huge in the nineties. That song years. ruined it. You know, when you remember the song, Monica, a little more Monica in my yeah, life. Well, yeah. Vega fucked yeah. It up. yeah. 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 So true. Yeah. I wonder if the rest of the names in that song have been trashed too. Of, but I only I don't, remember I only remember Monica. And friends probably. People associate with like an O C D fucking crazy former, lady. Former fat lady. Yeah. I, I also heard I don't know if this is true, but I think I heard that I think it was Stephen King had like a weird, unhealthy obsession with the song Mambo Number no. Five. Really? Like his wife almost left him because he wouldn't like fucking stop <laughs> listening to him. I, I, that, I believe it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how you get in a real <laughs> horror horror mind. You're just playing uh, a dull boy with number, no five. number five becomes a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with no play. <laughs> um, so I just right. uh, back to Monica. And yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I distracted you. No, no, no. I think I was it. Just the pizza gate. I think it, yeah. well, it's the. Uh, it's the best. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Time just ended. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it, dude. I yeah. <laughs> dude, you fucking that for someone example. without you know being prepared, you fucking It'd nailed be so it. So funny if I just like pulled out a fucking voice recording of it. <laughs> yeah. And like, oh, there we go. <sighs> Good job. Yeah, I just well, I just saw that today. That's that is crazy. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm gonna have to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I all right. Second question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This one. Uh, what was the first CD that you remember purchasing with Corey's money? Oh, dude, it was like probably uh, yourself or someone like you by Matchbox Twenty. That was probably yes, that's, a good, that's a good that's a that's decent. An it's answer. a solid like it's a solid album. Like it, it's like before they became too saccharine, right? You know what I mean? Before they became too douchey. saccharine. That's a sprite, a spice. It just means like sweet or, or oh, like okay. syrupy. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> syrup. You remember when you said Quentin Johnson sounds like he has a mouthful of <laughs> yeah. syrup all the time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to stop talking shit about him on this podcast, dude. I feel like he comes up so often. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be funny for people that listen to this podcast that aren't attached to the Denver Comics. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He yeah. hates this guy. Like, no, we love him. He's I great. love Quentin, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's the other side of the dead parents coin, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. Yeah. Exactly. We need all the... All the dead parent comics. Uh, yeah. They're the only fun ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but 
yeah, that's al- that album I still like will put on. Like it's pretty rare, but because like then you just go into like the you know the band. Like if you like a band, just go into the bands that influence them. Yeah, and they're much better. So Isn't you're you're into a lot of you too then. Not you too. No. Okay. Uh, but I'm into like replacements and. Okay. You know word. I mean? Yeah. 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 The bands. That's that's who probably inspired you too. Even shit like uh, the replacements. Probably is the replacement seventies. Yeah. Makes me soft, dude. You two makes you soft. Yeah, dude. Nothing, nothing, nothing makes kill. me hotter than fucking. I still haven't found what I'm looking for, dude. Because <laughs> I get my god. I get what people are getting. Like when people are like, I like YouTube. Like I've had people that I respect, like try to turn me on to YouTube and I get it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I can hear it. And I've heard songs by them. I think the album pop. Yeah. yeah okay. That's like a good album. Interesting. That's like, cause I just, cause I, I grew up with uh, my mom's a huge YouTube fan. So oh, okay. that's like the album that most YouTube fans are like, I don't want anything to do with it. Really? Yeah. Cause I, it's, it's really when they like, Changed their style and like kind of became I don't like know less shitty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> was yeah. That the free one? Uh, no, no, no. The free one was a few years ago. Pop, okay. pop was like ninety six. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like uh, how to destruct an atomic bomb. Yeah, how to how to dismantle that yeah, one too. I got that for <laughs> guess what? I got also. that for I got that for Christmas one year. No, oh, really? really? In a stocking. Yeah, how That's to dismantle the atomic thing bomb? You've ever said, Wasn't dude. That- dude, you Bono is black as fuck, dude. <laughs> You mean like Black Irish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, was that the album? <laughs> was that the album that ha- that they put, like put on people's iPhones? No, them? that was that was a couple albums after. Okay, but I remember that, and I remember everyone being upset and me being like, I I don't I got I have Spotify, I don't even have it. Like that sucks. <laughs> I would take it. But yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, I just remember like a few there. I, I'm not too. They're like a little, but the pop was like I remember like. Giving that a shot and not yeah. hating it completely. I, there was a couple bangers on there. Octong, Octong Baby, which is the album, maybe yeah. two albums before, is, is really good. To be honest with I've you. heard a lot of good things about Joshua Tree, but I was yeah, Joshua Tree's too opinion. good. But it's definitely like peak eighties, like yeah. rock and I don't know if you even call it rock and roll, arena rock. Yeah, yeah. I just it's like uh, the it's like a a scene in the. It's not in the movie. It's in the book, American Psycho. Yeah. Where he like goes to U2 and has like a religious experience. <laughs> yeah. It's like very much like that's kind of what they're. Yeah. I I also get that sentiment. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Know, like, yeah, a serial killer will love your fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, how serial killers find Jesus is yeah. edge solos. I yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Also, there's no way that when Dylan finally kills somebody, he's not giving them facts about music while he's yeah, doing oh, it. By the way, that's, that's he's putting on the perfect part. track and being like, "The reason that they sang this song." Yeah, <laughs> I could put together a perfect playlist of how to like to kill somebody. Too. Yeah, like, it would... dude, I had a playlist. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I had a playlist. I know you were offended at my mom. no no no, no, no not at all. I had a playlist. It was all. It was pretty much all like bluegrass and outlaw country songs, yeah. but it, and it was I can't remember what I call it. It was probably like I did it or something like that. <laughs> it was just yeah, yeah. every single song just was just about of body yeah yeah. Them. It's just every single song was just like about like finding out your wife cheated on you and then murdering her. So every, every, They're just geotagged the different locations. Yeah, there's like 76 songs on it at one point. I feel like oh my that's god, a little bit, dude, that's like a huge genre. That's of music a, that's all to, old school like, country, dude. Yeah, dude. Murder ballads were like a whole, like they're a whole genre, and they're I awesome. Just, yeah, they are. Think so about uh, what is it? Gets me um, hyped, dude. Kate McLennan, Kate McKinnon by Colton. Yeah, that's a great song, dude. Totally, dude. There's a, there's a what's the one by Jimi Hendrix where it's all about is the lady. The wind cries who, is the wind hey cries. Joe? Hey Joe, yes. Yeah, and he's literally like, I'm not going to jail, but I'm definitely killing this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a every when, every man has thought that. <laughs> that's just a. <laughs> part of that song by the way is like the, the structuring of it it's like Jimi Hendrix I'm assuming being the narrator and not the because uh, he's saying hey he's saying hey Joe and he's yeah. like hey Joe where, what are you doing with that gun and Joe's like oh I'm gonna go murder this woman yeah. <laughs> strike my woman down yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, cheating. I'm gonna go fucking shoot her in the head and, and then, Jimmy's like yeah, yeah he's like, <laughs> And then he's like, and then I'm going to go to this place. Like, I'm, he's like telling him where Jimmy he's going to go hide. Oh, that ain't too cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That fucking saw rules. He's like, he's like, that's pretty lame of you to do, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh fuck that's music funny music used to be so much cooler yeah dude <laughs> it really did dude <laughs> it's so funny that I have a I haven't even gotten to the playlist of, like 
the sex playlist that I've talked about forever that I need to have a sec a jams list just to fuck to. And yeah. you've already got the I did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, ki- I killed her. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one um Harley Poe? You ever listen to him? And uh, like that kind of like really dark uh folk punk kind of shit? Harley Poe? Yeah, Harley or Johnny po- Hobo and the freight trains and that kind I of stuff. I do listen to Johnny Hobo. Uh, Ramshackle Glory. Uh, Nick yeah. Cave and the Bad Seeds, dude. I'm huge into Nick Cave and Fuck the Bad yeah. Seeds. Fuck yeah, some Red Right Hand. Yeah, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, they're like one of my favorite bands. They Fuck fucking yeah. Roll, dude. Yeah, and they yeah, have a whole, song, whole album called Murder Balance. Yeah. Just, I used to go to sleep to that in high school. That's yeah, that makes sense. It's crazy. That checks yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally checks out. Dude. I used to fall asleep to Deftones. I don't know if that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that adds up. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. 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 I'll nurse you to sleep. Yeah. yeah, it's like a teat in the mouth. Yeah, dude, yeah. some Chino Marino vocals. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I used to fall asleep to Sabbath, and that was haunting. Yeah, that's, I feel like you wake yeah. up nightmares. Yeah, which I did. Yeah, but that's a th- like you, you kind of like. That's what it's there for. Yeah, that's what it's there for. Exactly. You're mm-hmm. supposed to be uh, kind of in a nightmare. I listen to metal like it's so funny because like none of my friends like I'll talk to my friends and then I'm like they're like yeah you don't really like metal. I'm like I listen to fuck metal all the time, but I just don't listen. There's like two bands I don't listen. I don't listen to, like Slayer. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, you just don't listen to metal. I'm like, that's one band. Like I don't like thrash <laughs> metal, dude. It's yeah. one. It's also the easiest genre, one to find. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's. Um, but I love it. It's so just like a guy, uh, like like Melvin's or Typo Negative, where it's just a Black Sabbath ripoff. Yeah, totally, one hundred percent, all day, dude. I'll listen to every album you put out. Yeah, I, I don't. It's so good, dude. Like in the journey that metals had. I mean, yeah. when you think about where it started so haunting and satanic and, like, Alice Cooper and, like, all that, like, theatrical yeah. shit, and then it went into glam, and then it went into, like, the grungy era with, like, Soundgarden and stuff where it just turned really moody yeah, and, like, yeah, sappy yeah. and shit, yeah. and then it, like, turned into Limp Biscuit, which was, like, the most insane version of it where it was just, like, let's be really, up, like, angry and Yeah, smashed. we're upset. Yeah, and then it, like, what, early 2000s, it became, like, pop punk it was like all american rejects was like uh, the, right, or started, fallout boy was yeah, considered they, the hard shit for uh, an entire generation at least my generation or they yeah. had like all those like all those like skinny jeans metal yeah bands. like uh fuck what's that band uh, uh, oh heat in cambria Prada, yeah, that august like, burns yeah. red yeah. asking yeah. alexander most of those are christian bands too Really? Yeah, under oath. Yeah, and shit. Uh, yeah August Nor- Burns Red is definitely a Christian band. Yeah, I saw August Burns Red open for fucking Project Eighty Six. Yeah, is which also group. a Christian band. Yeah, dude. I used to have a Project Eighty Six shirt. I didn't know it was a Christian. I'm pretty band. sure Eighty Six is dude. from Psalm Eighty Six. Oh, uh, I've seen Project Eighty Six like almost more than any other band. Really? Oh no. Yeah, I've seen them like I've seen them like six times or something. This is all like years and years. Yeah, I did yeah. see I saw Skillet and that was one of the gnarliest shows. Project eighty six is still de- like they still have a couple of, I mean I haven't listened to them in like I haven't listened to like any other new shit, but like they had like three albums that were fucking three yeah. or four albums that were like pretty dope. They like they still hold up if you're into that. Yeah, yeah. They were like New metal, like less shitty, you know. Yeah. I mean, they were like a slightly less shitty new metal. Did you ever <laughs> listen like Norma Jean? No, I w- like kind of was too. I was like slightly too old. For, okay, like Norma Jean and and Double like Under Spiral, Oath, all, yeah, Under Oath, all those guys. Norma Jean was dope. I uh, I remember like I got scared when like John Fur Cowboy and that kind of stuff started getting big. I was just like, if I can't hear a lyric. I'm out. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's too much for me, too. And it's because I'm like, you guys wrote these songs. I want to know what the fuck you're saying. Like, when you look up their lyrics, you're like, wow, these are kind of actually beautiful. Yeah. But when they're like. Yeah, it gets like too much. Like, I like like acid bath. They have, but they have like, they go from like screaming to like melodic. Oh, so like I love leftover crack or those kinds of bands, too. Yeah. That like um, crack rock steady kind of like. Half screamo, half like ska, half yeah. like punk. Like, uh, I'm all for it, but rise against. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. I thought I thought a rise against vinyl for like, it's like one of my oldest vinyl. I've never heard listen to it. I've really? never heard it. I was That's like, hilarious. Just it. Somebody gave it to me, and I was like, oh, you could might as well throw that in the trash. Like, yeah, I'll keep it. <laughs> Sweet, a giant coaster. <laughs> Jeez, truly, <laughs> really, dude. 
So uh, I, I have been, to be fair, in the same kind of genre. I've been listening to a lot of early Offspring. And that's, it, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a mood. I can get that. I yeah. just went to a concert the other night at Lost Lake, and it was like um, a bunch of like uh, female fuck men bands. It was honestly so awesome. Like the attitude Hell that yeah. comes with that like hardcore fem, fem punk where it's like, fuck you all, you're all pieces of shit. And they're like singing it to us as we're like in the crowd. 90% men in the crowd. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> There's like three ladies there. Total. Yeah, we can handle it, dude. I like, <laughs> and know. we're just like, yes we are garbage tell me and she's like running around and okay but it was it was awesome and uh i fucked up i did so i was trying to take a photo and i held my phone up and my phone started to fall out of the case so i like spazzed out real fast and my beer i mean entirely full went just on an entire person like That's completely awesome. all over him and he looked at me he's like fuck you dude i was like <laughs> Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I had no response. I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that was just me Damn. spazzing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. no excuse for that. I did literally go, I'm so sorry, and I grabbed my shirt and I started to wipe it off. And he's like, Fuck off! Dude. What like, the fuck? The worst, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, one time at a concert, I was uh, I was just minding my own business, dude. And this lady said, I heard her from behind me. She went, "You're too tall," and then she poured a drink on me. That's and, so funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's I was like, I sick, bet, yeah. Dude, that lady that's actually, a, that's pretty punk rock. That, that is, is very cool. We were at Tech 9. There's no reason to be punk rock. That is the problem. Dude, like, the funniest women I've ever met are just, like, like booze bag, like, ways towards like that. Yeah. It's like, you're so funny. You just, like, there's no way you can present They know to nothing's going to happen to them. Well, in, but there's, like, the tragedy is there's no way you can present that to an audience. Like, that yeah. kind of comedy of just, yeah. like, yeah. there's something funny about being the worst person yeah, like yeah. I, it truly is like yeah it's, like the, it's the funniest thing for me to watch it like, is. I, was at a, I remember it was called the booze cruise and so we're wasted in a, a skate event where we go from bar to bar on our skateboards and there was this lady who just kept following us and i mean trying to pick a fight with every single and we were That's like my favorite I we're love going it. to different bars we're not <laughs> even like we're trying to move on and she kept following us dude and i have it on footage where she's like pushing my friend and he's like i don't know what to do here and she's like fuck you hit me hit me bitch hit me and he's like i'm That's not gonna awesome. hit you <laughs> those ladies dude they're just like ferrets you can't control them yeah they're rowdy dude <laughs> rowdy girls we don't have like a we they stink. like yeah yeah <laughs> We don't have a place to put it. They used to go to monasteries, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, you have to go to the nunnery, dude. We have and, then, <laughs> and then Reagan closed those down. You can fucking yeah. hit children, but that's it. You, yeah. can't, fucking be, yeah. <laughs> you can't be like striking adult men. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, and man. That's the end of your second question. Perfect. Perfect. Dude, you timed that one perfect, too. That's crazy. I'm killing it, dude. Yeah. Um, I would like to announce I'm in my golden era. I've been wearing a lot of gold lately. Oh, okay. I think I'm in my golden era. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think it's like fall. It's autumn. It's time for some gold. Time for some gold. Yeah. yeah. What color are your eyes? You can't, I can't, like. They're like yellow blue. We talked about this the other oh, night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey thinks I'm more of a winter. More than, of a winter guy. Than a summer yeah. guy. Interesting. But you've seen me this summer. I do kind of I, I come alive. You perk up a little bit. Yeah. 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 I definitely. He I thinks mean, he, like, it's because he thinks that because it's, it's snowy for 12 days out of the winter, he can't go outside and skateboard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I get sad. Yeah. No, dude, I just shut down for six months and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Even though it's sunny for like eighty percent of the time, yeah. And you can like actually be outside for thirty minutes. It's not too hot. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. am like, no way. No time to just watch true no, crime. I'm still on like, yeah. nor I'm still on like Wyoming, like seasonal depression. I yeah. never like transition to. Yeah, dude, I get cabin fever at like sixty degrees. What I like to do is every winter, what I do is I, I do that. I just shut down uh, depressed. Uh, if you have another beer, though. That would be, yes. That would be BRB. Killing. Yeah, dude. He's got to go back to work. Yeah, I got to go, go back to work, dude. Yeah. I'm not buzzed enough, dude. <laughs> what um, happens every year? Every year what I've done, well, I don't, I try not to do it as much anymore because it's, it's kind of a weird, terrible habit. But, like, what I'll do is I'll just be hyper depressed for uh the entire like for most of winter and then kind of like when i'm in the deepest amount of depression i'll just take a heavy dose of some kind of psychedelic just to kind of clear the cobwebs yeah, and it'll break me down it'll like destroy you know yeah uh but then it'll make me ready for the for the rebirth of, of spring yeah I feel. that's you your cocoon I mean? is your 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 trip 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, I, I'm putting uh, to bed the uh, uh, death while co- course. I'm garbage. Uh, thank you. Um, golden, golden can, golden gold. era. I, wow. I'm telling you, dude. Even the top of the Stella is gold. I don't know, dude. I yeah, I haven't figured out how. Uh, I'm like. I've just gotten to the point where I've like started like fucking with jewelry again or like oh, not yeah. jewelry, but like accessorizing, you know, accessorizing or whatever. Dude, dude. Johnny Depp won his lock lawsuit. I think we can all start wearing some handkerchiefs. By the, by the way, I yeah, do, it's the time of the man I do again. Base a lot of my fucking uh, I do like me and Johnny Depp have a lot. We're both like really into leather wristbands and shit, dude. I'm very like we have a lot of stuff. I'm not saying like I'm copying him or anything. I, I, I think he's copying you thinking. dude. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, you and Dad, parallel thinkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Cut from the same handkerchief. Oh, cloth. dude, you see me in a goatee. I have a very deaf like um, deposition. De- <laughs> 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 I'm also getting sued by several women for, yeah. <laughs> for drinking too much wine and throwing glasses at their heads yeah, <laughs> while they shit in your bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look at them. You're like, look, I was just trying to take a photo of the concert. I'm sorry. But that is the thing. Like, I am a very much like too much. Too many bracelets, kind of. I am a pretentious. You like bracelets? Yeah. Well, okay. I only have the one right now. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks rad, dude. Yeah, dude. yeah. This I got it from Dead Room, dude. Uh, it just says one day at a time. Oh yeah. I think uh, Sana gave it to me to like encourage me to stop drinking, but <laughs> <laughs> how foolish of him. Yeah. Cheers, dude. <laughs> one day at a time. <laughs> um, what's up with the? Uh I, I literally, I know nothing about it, so I assume, Dylan, you can help me a little bit. I don't know. What's up with the new Buffalo coach? Oh, Deion Sanders. You, you, you don't know I about don't know Deion. why he's so hated. I don't know why. Who hates he's, him? I've heard he's not he's not cool. That He's, he's like, very cool. Yeah, he's if too he, cool for school. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But, I mean, De- he was, I mean, Deion Sanders was. Is he like uh, a bad boy? Yeah, Bad, yeah, yeah, I mean, a little bit. This is the wrong. Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> he was definitely, he was definitely a bad boy, but I mean, he was like a cool guy in the nineties. Yeah, he was a cornerback for the Cowboys, and the Cowboys were winning. Cornerback for the Hawks, okay. Atlanta Hawks. He also got drafted. The Hawks, the, yeah, the Atlanta Hawks. He played for the Cowboys, the Hawks, the and Falcons. I'm thinking basketball. Yeah, Atlanta Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> he played for the Falcons, the Cowboys, and I think the 49ers. But there was somebody who did both. Ba- he played baseball, too. Him and Barry Sanders both played. Or not Barry Sanders, Bo Jackson oh, played football and baseball. Now, did De- Deion Sanders, did I hear that he did it in the same day? That he yes. played a football game and a baseball? Yeah. Deion Sanders did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking I think crazy. Bo Jackson might have, too. But Dude, yeah, that's like being bisexual and hitting both in the same day. That's he's probably tight. done that, too. You've seen, <laughs> you seen his sunglasses, dude? <laughs> so he's like sunglasses guy? He's sunglasses. So what I guess one of the things that happened this week is they're playing CSU. This week it's like a big rivalry game. And the so Deion Sanders, when he like goes to his uh, post-game interviews, he'll always like have on his hood. And his sunglasses. Yeah. And so, you know, looking like a cool guy, the cool guy that he is. So the CSU coach said this week leading up to it that when he talks to adults, his mama taught him to take off his hat and his sunglasses. And so now this week, Deion Sanders handed out sunglasses to his whole team. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's uh, he's just, I mean, I mean, it's obviously he's just a good coach now, but he's one of the, there you go, dude. Yeah, Minor yeah, in my car. Yeah. <laughs> but he's one of the greatest football players of all time for sure. No shit. Okay. Yeah. 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 And probably mediocre at baseball. No. He was really? good at baseball. Yeah. <sighs> he was good enough to get drafted into the MLB like a first round draft pick. Damn, dude. Yeah. That's fucking. Nuts. Didn't, yeah, um, and play both sports at the same time. No shit. Michael so. Jordan did that. I don't know how good he was at baseball. Yeah. He wasn't very good, but he stopped playing basketball to play baseball. Yeah. Deion Sanders played them both. At, like same time. Yeah. Or, Wow. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, dude. That yeah, is dude. rad. Yeah, it is rad. Damn. All right. Well, sounds cool. No. I hope the Buffalo people win. I hope it ends so I don't have to fucking worry about, about it on it. Saturdays. I've yeah. seen a hundred memes already. Well, it now just they're, seems to they're be like flexing all this, all the games to Saturday night, which is like the one night I was like, I don't have to worry about football. Oh. And now I have to worry about fucking stupid ass college football that no one has cared about for a decade. It's because Deion Sanders and his son is out here. God damn. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. I, had, I had a bunch of shows lined up for the fucking, uh, uh, for the um, basketball finals. Oh, yeah. And it would just like, 
I never watched a full game of any sport. I don't think I watched all those finals games because I had like I was like, dude, these like Denver has to win. Yeah, <laughs> like they have to win or else these shows are gonna suck. Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was so happy when they won, dude. I was dude, like, we was... did a podcast once with um, I think it was Ryan Tricky and Jeff. No, it was two Kansas City fans. Right on the day they had played a playoff game, and it was literally. 50-50 on whether they were going to have a good time or a bad time. It was either going to be a great episode or a bad episode. Yeah. Because those, Ooh. dude, it changes their whole day. When yeah, their team loses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just knowing I'm going to watch the Broncos lose by one point tomorrow is already ruining my day, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Honestly. You're already yeah. half speed on this podcast. It's going to be 14-15 <laughs> tomorrow again, dude. Fuck. You can see Evan just trying to fucking <laughs> fill in the gaps <laughs> that you're fucking leaving. Because you're just fucking staring off into the yeah. shaking your head. Motherfuckers. This fucking <laughs> Russell Wilson, dude. Fuck. Yeah, he's not the man, huh? <laughs> nah. That sucks. It's whatever, dude. What was the uh, what was the news thing that you you were asking me about a news thing? One hundred percent. I was about to get to that next, actually. What is All it? Right, dude? Perfect. This is the only uh, thing that I ran by Corey ahead of time. Okay. But I did think we should at least touch on the madness at Burning Man. Oh, Burning Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. I mean, it started, do you remember the beginning videos of the protesters? Getting removed from the road. Yeah, and like yeah. the cop who just like grabbed them and threw them yeah. around. Wait, like, there were protesters? I haven't caught, I haven't like really caught. So there was like, so. I know that it got labeled a disaster. Right. So there's protesters, yeah. there's environmentalist protesters because the people at Burning Man, they, they just leave all their shit there. Yeah, they're monsters. Like, yeah, yeah. Like they totally destroy the town that they go through. They totally. The thing so, about the whole festival too is you're supposed to leave it the way you came. You know, you're yeah. supposed to like take right. away the trash and. They say that like twenty thousand bikes get left there every year. Now, and I, cars because now they do like the crazy cars and yeah, all yeah, that shit gets like, left you're there. Gonna pack that shit out with you've been on fucking acid for yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For like, <laughs> have you ever tried to clean anything on acid? Yeah. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> So uh, so I, I get it. They do put like a, a thing that's supposed to catch all the litter. Like it's like a, a, a like barricade. A, a giant net or something. Yeah, but yeah. it barely works. And um, yeah. also I have seen like plenty of videos of people going afterwards to like show all the trash. Yeah. But it, it's funny because they do label themselves as like a leave no trace kind of festival, which right. I've been to a bunch of those and they they aren't. <laughs> yeah, no, no totally. Totally. I mean, that's the I, first of all. I hate festivals. I th like. I'm really into music. It's like the one thing that I like. I'm into, uh, like outside of stand up. Um, that and locking kids in basements. That, yeah, children. Yeah, uh, <laughs> harvesting adrenochrome. I'm yeah. into it. Uh, but they, they like. I love music. I love live music, dude. We just saw fucking. Uh, at High Dive, we just saw Colfax Speed Queen and fucking Heated Bones and the Retcons, and that it was fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. I haven't like, I haven't like been, I haven't been inspired like by the Holy Spirit to get into a mosh pit in like mm -hmm. maybe ten years, dude. And I was like fucking like pouring sweat, like just a fat old man, just like. <laughs> <Aah>! <laughs> That's how fucking good the show was. It's fucking. I love live music. I think it's awesome. I've been to like a few festivals. I hated them every time. I was like, no shit, because you're just like seeing. Like a band you like, kind of in the shittiest setting you can see them. Right. In. Yeah. Unless they're like the last band and they're yeah, just kind of like, then, oh, yeah. we're doing 20 minutes today. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Th yeah. So you're like, yeah, you're like, I'm seeing fucking Dinosaur Jr. in the middle from, of the day from a million, from like two miles away yeah. for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It's at, so at 4 30 yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah. Like next to like fucking drunk goblins, dude. Who don't yeah. give a fuck about like Dinosaur lighting Jr. themselves at all. on fire. It sucks. And, yeah. and the other sage is Hosier or something like yeah, that. Yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. some fucking, they're, yeah, they're like pushing like legends off of the stage to make room for fucking Halsey or something. Yeah. It's like fucking crazy. But I did literally see that situation with the Pixies. Yeah. Where like at a Guava Fest where it was like, all right, come on, hurry up, get off. And it was the last tour they did with uh, um, the the bassist. Yeah. Kim, I can't think uh, of her name. Kim, Kim Deal. Yeah. Yeah. And so like I was like super stoked and they only, yeah, it does suck seeing a band at like fucking five o'clock. Dude. Yeah. And you still yeah. got six more hours. You know, you know, like do three songs at fucking two in the afternoon. I was like, the fuck is this? Oh, man. Close, dude. 
I, that does suck, but I, I so last week I went to see uh, it was Dell the Funky Home. It was Deltron thirty thirty. Fuck yeah, dude. run the I jewels, love <laughs> dude. So do I. It was so it was Deltron, run the jewels, and Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That's you great. would think, dude. But uh, so Deltron killed it. Run the jewels was fucking Phenomenal. amazing, dude. From so yeah, good. Wu Tang yeah. Clan, and I say this as someone who like, there's probably a good two years of my life where all I listened to is fucking Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, they fucking sucked. By the it way, was I so saw bad. Wu-Tang at a festival at yeah. the same one of the, at the same festival where I saw Dinosaur Jr. and Danzig. Yeah. Also sucked. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was I knew it was like as soon as it started and like just Rizza walked out, I was like, Oh, this is and he is just yeah. Rizza did like the first two songs. I was like, This is not gonna be this yeah. is not gonna be good. And then they like slowly start to bring the people who are there out. And like seven songs in, you're like, Okay, obviously like if you're paying attention, you're like, Okay, obviously Method Man's not here, which sucks. But yeah. but then they like they're like hey we got a little announcement Method Man can't make it tonight he's stuck on the he's stuck on the air track or whatever tarmac. it's like tarmac yeah and uh, immediately you hear the whole crowd go oh yeah. <laughs> and, then, oh, dude. and then dude but then and then they did Method Man they played Method Man without Method Man that and they like clearly didn't know the words. And like That's we're all, we're depending dude, right on, funny dude, and they like, they, are, they are like clearly depending on because you know how like you go to a rap concert like the 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 artist has performed so much that they know which parts of the audience is gonna say totally. and the audience knows which Bootang Clan doesn't tour like that you know what I mean they don't so they're like expecting the audience to say parts of the songs that the audience doesn't know I have no clue yeah. so they'll fucking. Put Oh my that god! Rules, dude. <laughs> it was, but then listen to this. So, so they did like they did the songs you would know, and then like uh, old dirty bastard sons there, and he's doing all of old dirty bastards parts, and he was actually killing it. He was actually really he was jumping around, fucking like he looked like old dirty Wait, bastard. So his dad's not there now. His dad's bastard. dead. Yeah. His dad's dead. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. yeah I was going for the bastard. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I don't know, but anyway, uh, and then. I'm like, while everyone's doing their verse, everyone else in Wu-Tang Clan just fucking stands behind them with their arms crossed. Yeah. It's yeah, like, okay, so well, this is pretty that's whack. So and then weird. But then... It feels... Was it kind of like one of those reunion shows and you can tell that the cast yeah, did not that's get what along, it was, yeah. And it felt like they forced them together and, just but, to... And but watching cash. that after Run the Jewels just like fucking... Fucking dominant. Crushed yeah. in, like, obviously, like, they practiced and fucking... It's all... They, they know it's parts of, like, uh, you know, like, if there's two guys, usually the other guy will rap like the end of a bar so the guy yeah, will it's, t- like, it's like rap yeah harmonies. they knew all that shit and yeah, it was so and then down. they were practiced and then Wu-Tang Clan didn't know the words <laughs> it was like whoa dude and then Rizzo would, would just start talking about we need more energy we need more. and then they played uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit because they had a band with them, so they you could have you could have given me a, a million guesses. Yeah, <laughs> but but they didn't sing it. They just did like the hello hello they just did that part and didn't sit. There. And I was like, is this like it That's took me thirty amazing. seconds to be like, this is, smells like. And then like two thousand people just like everyone started leaving before like thirty minutes before the concert was over. Probably I've never seen anything like that, but it was really bad. God, that sucks. Yeah, it was. But yeah, that, like that's why like fest- first of all like festivals. By the way, like that are like I'm talking about festivals with like a stacked right set list. Yeah, those suck. Yeah. So like, yeah. even when you're like, oh, I'm seeing like legendary musicians and like some of my like contemporary favorites or right. whatever. Even that sucks. Yeah. So, like, imagine a festival with no music. <laughs> like, yeah. Or, like, if it's music, it's like... It's like fucking, techno. Yeah, it's like Grimes rip-offs. It's like... Right. Grimes, you're, go, you're going to see, like, Grimes cover bands at fucking Burning <laughs> yeah. Man. Like, yeah, exactly. It's not even Grimes anymore. It's yeah. just, like... It, it, that just... And, and the fact that it, like, got rained out and they're, like... Yeah, so it, it rained at Burning Man. It just yeah. turned into, like, that giant mud pit. Yeah, and nobody yeah. could leave I, I, I because they're in a, it's a lake bed. What? It's a it's yeah. a pre, it's like an ancient lake bed. Oh. So the sand that they're on, it's not even like actually it's called playa. And so like when it gets oh, wet, yeah. like so all those people who are walking around without shoes on and stuff, like they have like crazy infections in their feet now because it like gets in the good. cracks. Here. Yeah, this good, dude. Oh. Like, dude. No, I saw like like uh, like somebody was like filming, and then like their car had like. It's like in the process of being swallowed by the playa. Dude. Yeah, it like it, dude, that place needed like to be shut down like a long time, just because like it's it's like I get the point, dude. I 
do psychedelics a lot. I've done a lot of psychedelics. I do them less and less, but that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to be a fucking CEO doing right. Elon Musk doesn't need to be in the desert yeah, doing psychedelics, burning an effigy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's like you're. It's like, dude. Yeah, you're doing something like demonic, just in essence of what you're doing. Not like you, just to play with it, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's, like, it feels like you're, you're like, a poser. I mean, yes. that's the least authentic thing in the world, dude. I hate that well, shit. So, yeah, mushrooms I are really, for the people. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. like you have cubenzies are for the for the common folk. Get the fuck out of our fucking <laughs> rich. People. This is the only thing we have. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck people get like shit. clean cocaine. Yeah. You know, you get prescribed medicine. You get yeah. doctors. Come yeah, on, fucking, all right. We dude, need to medicate ourselves with these. Yeah, Michael Jackson was doing the the drug that you that they give you to perform surgery on you. Yeah. Dude. To fall That's, asleep. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I have to just like drink NyQuil and take melatonin to get yeah. a tenth of what you got. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pee. And then, yeah, to go like into the desert and just, it, it's just become too much of a, like, I remember hearing about it like 15 years ago and being it like, was created, that sounds cool. It was and, created like, by yeah. the Cacophony Society. Exactly. Coffee Which is, society. yeah, they're just a, like a cult of trolls. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. They just come up with these pranks and these silly ideas. And it was originally this idea of just escaping, you know, getting away from everything. That's why it is yeah. like right outside of uh, California, but like still just far enough to be in the desert where you're disconnected from all the bullshit, I guess. But yeah. And you can like do these big art like installations installations yeah. i wouldn't hate to set something on fire dude that does sound kind of cool yeah dude building statues of men and then fi- burning them and then you know because they participate in ancient babylonian <laughs> yeah. sacrificial rituals dude, it sounds like a good time forever. dude. like they've but done like, that in like I, spain I, forever that's what i'm saying is like yeah. i don't think i i think that like burning a man in effigy is i think it just starts out as being cool yeah <laughs> and then <laughs> It really, I do. I, and then, and then, like at some point, it gets so fucking pretentious, and, yeah. and there's too many. You know, you have like, uh, you know, like uh, the guy who fucking is a, is like a B level accountant for Grinder, right? Is out there just like trying to hold his shit together on like two hits of acid, and then, and then there's like enough of that around where it's like. What you're doing, you've you've ruined something that was just stupid and cool. Yeah. To the point that now it is demonic. Because yeah. <laughs> you're like you're like fucking putting a middle finger in the face of like human ingenuity and mm-hmm. and like creativity, font, creativity and, and font like yeah. survival, like human. Yeah, shit. exactly. Like all the human shit, like you you rip the humanity out of every. Like, when you put in these, uh, I mean, it, dude, literally whatever it is, where it's it's like. I mean, when people monetize off of certain things, it really does become weirdly gross. Oh, yeah. And the prices of just to go to Burning Man and all that it's stuff. It's like, what, like $12,000 just to secure a spot? I can only imagine. Yeah. yeah. There's camping, and then there's renting bicycles, and then there's having all your food. Because you're not allowed to buy shit. You have to literally it's come with trades. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which wouldn't be all, bad. I would love no, to go to that. the barter. Like, every aspect of it, it, like, there's a kernel of cool in everything that... <laughs> It's the same thing with like. That's how the devil gets you, dude. Well, it's, well Damn, I think it's the same thing. It's so like true. It's like every member of Black Sabbath was Christian, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like they were just doing something cool. Yeah, like for they're like, yeah, it's about. They, they just wanted to record an album in a haunted it's castle. Cool, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is cool shit. And then you get other people that get attached to the idea. And then you get Project and Eighty Six. They, and they yeah, well they don't or or like or like just like like mayhem or like whatever like seriously like satanic bands where you're like oh you missed the bit we were yeah. doing a bit <laughs> like what marilyn manson is now yeah it's like yeah you were a bit in the 90s and now you believe now you that's believe what you, what you are thing. yeah well you get the one asshole who comes in to the escape room with the fucking racist tattoos yeah you get that one guy there you're like fuck dude you're we like, were yeah, all having fun here yeah the racism was like a bit that people were doing on like 4chan and yeah. but you now like Made it too real. Think that it's serious, and it, yeah, you ruined the fucking thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> we were all having fun, jokingly denying the Holocaust. Yeah, and now you're, you're like, and you're like going in with numbers, numbers and, and stuff. Like, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no dude. <laughs> we were just goofing. <laughs> I did. Uh, I thought it would be great while we have Corey 
I've written out the best of the worst. All right, let's do it. Adolf right. came up. I feel like we should go ahead and finish All this right. off. We, we it, haven't man. done it yet. Let's do it. In a long time. So this is the best of the worst. Okay. And we've been doing a bracket system. We're going to bring this bit alive. Mm. Uh, it is, we're trying to find who is the best of the worst. Okay. Um, is our plan to finish it today? Let's see if I can get it on the. That's probably on there, dude. Uh, I guess you can see. I can't. <laughs> what am I saying? We got, uh, so for, if you guys want to hold on to it, for our first bracket, we have Ivan versus Adolf. Ivan the Terrible? Yeah. Yes, sir. Ivan Koloff. Uh, <laughs> Ivan Avenue. <laughs> In the road. <laughs> uh, Ivan, Ivan I don't know. I don't remember who some of these people are. Who's Nassar? Larry Nasser. Larry Nasser. Larry Nasser. And, oh, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Why am I just my <laughs> <I> fucking <laughs> a pedophile joke sense just started tingling, dude? <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's Larry Nasser is again up against all popes. Yeah, yeah, dude. Two, I have two nasty groups, dude. We got two we got Saddam and group. Genghis Khan, and then Nero and KMS. Dude, Kim's was, Kim's Kim, the yeah, North the, Korean just government the Kims in in general. Okay, okay. <laughs> This oh. is good. All right, l listen. Let's start off with Ivan and Adolf because I feel like we can get through this pretty quick. Yeah, Ivan. I'm gonna go Ivan all day. Ivan, uh, just better like style. He, yeah, better cool yeah. name. I True. love how close it is to Evan. I'll be honest. Dude, if I change cool. the like fucking, a, what if I change my Instagram to Evan the Terrible? You should. You think that's been I, taken? Yeah, yeah. No, Evan, Evan the Terrible. We can find out right now. You should, dude. <laughs> yeah, Evan man. the Terrible. Yeah. All right. Evan like the Terrible is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you have to, yeah, you might have to like change. You might have to put in some dashes or something, but I think <laughs> you'll be the you'll be the biggest Ivan the Terrible on Instagram. Hell yeah, a couple underscores and I'll be there. So yeah, like dude, if you're putting like so Ivan, yeah, Adolf Hitler's killing people. Um, I, Adolf's not very cool. Is Ivan know. the Terrible the inspiration for? No, Dra is he the inspiration for Jacker? That's Vlad the Impaler, right? That's Vlad the Impaler. Yeah, okay. thank you. I, but Ivan the Terrible is like mutilating people and doing like kind of barbaric shit, which is for a lot cooler. Sure. Like the thing with Adolf that sucks is, well, a lot of Hitler. <laughs> oh, it's not just one. Yeah, the one thing like about one, Hitler. One, one criticism I have for all Adolf. No, but it's like you're just like, like you can't even respect him as like a terrible mass, like evil mass. He was a dork. Because he was yeah, and he yeah. was doing shit like everything was like through the in, the lens of industrialization. Hitler so would have like, been a Burning Man. Oh, Hitler definitely would have been yeah. a Burning Man. Yeah, he would have been loved, all about it. He loved all that occult shit, dudes. Yeah. He loved firing up dudes for sure. <laughs> There's a giant nose on the Burning Man statue. He's like, you guys are gonna love this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, we got off all the meat off that bone, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So are we going Ivan? I guess. Uh, yeah, Ivan uh, for sure. On because that of one, his dude. fashion versus Burning Man. Yeah, it's fashion. Yeah, uh, fashion. Yeah. Uh, Adolf had no style. No dude. style, and he's a yeah, dork. No game, How do you no, think Ivan dork. was as a painter? Mm. Probably great, dude. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably, way, probably way better. Dude. He probably like, would have got accepted into college. Hitler, yeah, Hitler's paintings not that great, dude. Uh -huh. They are they're kind of just like run of the mill shit. You can put that on like Thomas Kincaid candles, and nobody would know the difference. That's why so Hitler true. is like he might as well be just like a picture of a house in a, a snowstorm or something. You yeah. Know what I mean? So Ivan, moving on. Yeah. Ivan's moving on. All right, you were where do you want to go next? Uh, let's go, um, best of the worst. All right. Let's just go down. We'll go, we'll go down. We'll, we'll figure out one, one half for each. So let's go to Nero, Nero and, and the Kims. Kims, Nero and the Kims. Now Dylan. Yeah. You want to give a little backstory on Nero? Nero. He burnt down Rome. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a little kickstart. Uh, oh wait. Nero. Also would have been a Bernie man. Probably would Definitely. have been, yeah. These are all, he, it's a place for like. The original the original Burning Man was Rome when he lit up yeah. all those Christians. He was dancing and shit too, right? Yeah, wow. Yeah, he was like. And having the parties. Yeah, he was a, he was a gay little psychopath for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the, the Peter Thiel of old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, he knew how to play violin, right? Uh, Don't let yeah. say he played the violin. Oh, is that even really? A thing? As Rome was burning. As Rome was burning. That's fucking. They definitely flaming. didn't have violence back then. That's yeah, no, that doesn't apocryphal sound right. Full story, but the Kims. I mean, I mean, everything we know about them could just be made up. I don't know. And I'll be honest. And there's some good Kims. 
There's, there's Kardashian. Yeah. There's Lil. Kim Chi. Oh, we're just doing all anybody Kim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, Kim Basinger. Uh, yeah. Um, there's Kim, Kim Possible, dude. Oh. Dude, Kim Possible. Yeah. Oh my god. So one of the best. Uh, Naked Mole Rat. Yeah, dude. Also known as Nero. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Nero. I said also known as Nero. Uh, they. Uh, yeah. The, also, just the Kim family in general. Very funny. They do. They have good some at great, basketball. Yeah. They can. They can <laughs> yeah. fly. Yeah. <laughs> and like, they yeah. they created existence. Yeah, yeah, so. they got, like, eight, none of them ever shit. <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, that is <laughs> crazy. Be so funny. I just, think Kim's a, move on, dude. To if, be honest, if dude. just one podcast would just become like unabashed North Korea stands. Would be so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found our lane, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We need like Kim constipation pills. Um, it like makes you poop for the like you poop for the first time. I think that uh, Kim, Kim's the fact that they ha, he is like you know with golf he had, the only time he's ever played golf he had eighteen hole in ones that kind yeah, of shit yeah. dude. Dennis like, Rodman is his homie. Yeah, it's Kim's all day, dude. Yeah, like Nero's, yeah. Nero's cool. Don't get me wrong, but like he's kind of like dorky, like like Adolf. The only thing he has cool is that he was like the source of like six six six. As the, the Nero was, yeah. Okay. He, well, the, the accord, <laughs> according to some translations, of yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Freak out, Dylan. You know that six 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 is my birthday. No, June sixteenth, nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. So this six, is our last well, episode. So. I, uh, <laughs> I knew that one. Well, I didn't know you were the crazy. devil. Dude. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> and then all the numbers are either ones, sixes, and nines. So it's like all triple threes and. Damn, so you were stoked on June six, two thousand and six, probably. Big time. Damn. Dude. Oh man, dude. Fucking Hank three and Danzig did a show together on uh, it was the, yeah in like L A dude on six 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 it was so fucking wish so I could have been there. We got Na- we got Larry Nasser and all popes and we got Saddam and Genghis Khan. All right, let's do Nasser and all popes. Real the quick. nasty yeah. bracket. I was th- dude, I was thinking about a bit. I can't the, the, the like you think of a bit that's like great, but you just can never do anything with yeah. it. Yeah, uh, just that like Larry Nasser was like trying like trying to explain like him molesting people. <laughs> Because if you don't know, he was a gymnast. He was right. a doctor for the Olympics. like Olympic gymnast, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was just like molesting all these girls. So but like to explain it, that, he, he was would like, literally do it in front of the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would literally be like, "Well, now I gotta examine your daughter." Yeah, I'm like, like finger. Yeah, uh, the, 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 my, stretch my, uh, him out. You know, hold it. <laughs> so the bit was like, I, I can never do it on stage or anything, but it's like. <laughs> He was just explaining that. Uh, I love it with the bits that you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being like, this yeah, is yeah, what yeah, I This is the one that's too much. <laughs> this will never fly. Yeah. Uh, but like him just explaining that, like, he's like, oh, yeah, actually, uh, G spot is short for gymnastic spot. <laughs> so I'm just uh, really trying to get it. <laughs> the gymnastic spotter. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, oh, there's a button I can click and yeah. really, really good at Make him a gold medalist. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow. This is a bit that can go nowhere. Um, <laughs> you want to see Simone? <laughs> She'll moan, all right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Like, Larry Nat, what, what are we judging them on? Are we judging on who's the most evil? Oh, or just the best. Well, we, like, we, we moved bad. Ivan on because of his fashion. <laughs> Right, right, so yeah, clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really taking this serious. <laughs> well, I think Ivan won based off of the lack of fashion from Adolf. Well, for, see, but that's that's the, the rules. We voted it. against the we popes are here also because yeah. of their fashion. Yeah, if I, I remember say, correctly, we're going by fashion alone. The, the pope, it's popes all day. They're, yeah, they're, that was how they moved on originally. Yeah, their fashion. Yeah, yeah. that and, and longevity. Cornered, they cornered the fish yeah. market. They did yeah. corner the fish market. Yeah, Jesus, mm. yeah. fish symbol. I don't know, man. The, the popes are. Uh, it depends on what. It, it depends on what we're judging them on for this. What would one. you like to do? I don't know because I think Larry Nasser is so. F- the funny. fact that he did it. <laughs> yeah, in the fact way, he did it in front of the parents. He is the underdog yeah. of but this. But then list. also the popes kind of did too. I also just like to imagine. By the way, this bit works for both sides of this. I. <laughs> Both sides. I like to imagine either side, like either Larry Nasser or just the Pope's just like online reading a PDF of the game. Just like <laughs> trying to like, <laughs> let's see, just like a, the, just like a, an archdiocese like negging a young boy. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> just being like, yeah, I don't know. That's not very, it's not very, that is kind of what they're doing. They're like, it's not very godly of you, Timothy. Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's nothing a young boy wants more than the approval of his, of his priest. Of his priest. Yeah. So they are kind of negging you. It's You know, if you want to be back in God's graces, game. you may need to stop by my office. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. It's, Get uh, on your... I'm There's sorry. a lot of crossover between the game and, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't like to point that out. <laughs> no, no, it's it's within bounds. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I, I I love Catholics. I, I you know really. I, well, yeah, they're cool. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm Catholics, not a Catholic, but I like them. They, I, I do think that like it's wild how many gods they believe in. They start to t- touch like how many gods they believe in. Yeah, yeah like the way they the treat saints. saints. And stuff. Yeah, and yeah. they like give like even their the when you become brought into the Catholic Church, you have to have a saint name. You like pick a, a saint that yeah, you like yeah. associate yourself with, huh. so like you get a fourth name, and it like yeah, goes yeah, in yeah. your name and shit. I mean, that's pretty. I think that's pretty old. Like like name change for like religious conversion is like pretty common. I think. Yeah. Um, oh, like uh, like what's his not name? even in just like Abrahamic. <laughs> what's his uh, name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ali yeah. Cassius Clay. Yeah. Changes yeah. name to Muhammad or, Ali. Yeah, or, or most death becoming Yusuf. Uh, uh, Yasin Bey. Yasin Bey, thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah, it was just like Cat Stevens did. So Yusuf. did he not like Cassius Clay because Cash is too close to the Jewish community? By the way, also, I, I don't think even... Fu- <laughs> no, it's just a slave I don't think most death converted. I think he was like Muslim the whole time. He just I think so. He just he got, he started taking it seriously. Yeah, yeah. Most death fucking rules, dude. Yeah, he, he really does. He really does. He's, so good. He's so fucking good. Um yeah, when I, I saw Blackstar live, and he was the best part for sure. He's Black a Star. genius, dude. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just fucking he was like in town with fucking uh, Eric Abadu. Oh dude. yeah, uh, it would have been such a fucking yeah. Good shit. Fuck. Dude, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get get out of <laughs> get out of your pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I think I got listen. I got to go with Popes on this. Okay. Uh, just because they do have the numbers, they have the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> They have the they have the best church. They they have the most like oh, opulent church. Architecture you know I mean? wise, dude. Yeah, I fucking love a Catholic church. They're great. The best churches are like the, like Islam monasteries. Yeah, they're like so psychedelic. They're crazy, dude. Have you they're, been to a black church? Yeah, those that's second best. That's number two. That's yeah. just the music though. Yeah. yeah, 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 dude. That's a rad festival right there, dude. You get hit yeah, like yeah, three yeah. funerals in one. <laughs> All in different black churches around town. All right. (laughs) 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 Saddam Hussein or Genghis Khan? Um, Saddam Hussein or Genghis Khan? So we're going like Eastern versus Middle Eastern, kind of on that one, right? Mongolian beef versus Euro. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. He had a Mongolian beef with (laughs) (laughs) with the rest of the world. (laughs) The rest of the world. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Among the lines of beef, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck, Genghis Khan. Again, pretty good and fashionable. Like true for this day. Saddam Hussein kind of sucks with yeah. fashion. Now Genghis is in all of us, right? Or majority? Like seventy five percent of the world, or something like that. Well, so, like if you're Asian, it's, it's like a, it's it's most of them. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think for all of us, like we're not. Yeah. Yeah. If you have Asian in if you, if you have Asian in you, you, you know. probably have some con in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> you're just doing wordplay. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> like Mark Norman ass piece of shit. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, Saddam, Saddam sucked it. Saddam sucked it because he was fucking. See, I was supposed to be on fucking uh, an episode with Ali Kareem. This would have been good for... It would have, yeah. He and I to hack this out. Yeah. But, uh, but he's not here. He's suspiciously... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Saddam, hey, I, I know, honestly, from Ali, but he used to read poetry on TV, mm. and that sounds kind of cool. Right. See, well, by the way, a recommendation for the next when you guys do the next round uh, is get fucking Muammar Gaddafi on there somewhere. Ooh. Oh yeah, Muammar Gaddafi is one of the best of the worst. Do we not have? A, I feel like we will, may have had him at the beginning. He's great. Maybe. He wrote. He wrote like sci-fi shit. He yeah. Was, really. Dude, yeah. Dude. Yeah. He was. He was so badass. Like, you see him like in the sunglasses with the fucking. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, where he looks like, like um, Tom Cruise on the cover of Mission Impossible, pretty much badass. What? <laughs> I don't know about that. 
I don't know if you know where, where he's like Wait. wearing like gowns and shit. He yeah, he looks badass. He does look badass, but I don't think we're thinking of this. <laughs> he, doesn't okay. look, he doesn't look like Tom Cruise at all. Yeah, he looks like fucking the coolest member of the Nation of Islam. It's like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he was super rad. He was like uh he was like trying to get off the petrol. He yeah. was an interesting cat. He was like That's why they killed him. That's why they killed him. They yeah. killed him and they killed him so hard. That's so hard, dude. They I did hear, yeah, he took it took it from behind, right? Yeah, they put With a the fucking fu- sword up his ass, yeah, right? Stabbed in the back. Yeah, yeah. Fucking what Hillary, happened, dude. dude. Uh, fucking global currency. Anyway. <laughs> you ever been pried open with a sword? No. Nah, dude. Me neither. No, dude, but I've never <laughs> tried to I've never tried to organize currency in North Africa either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, never, a, that's a that's only one pretty straight and narrow road to that. No, one time I've had, have I tried to overthrow the power of the United States and the government. <laughs> <laughs> so no. <laughs> like, could you imagine using I mean, they pretty much used his butthole as a sheath. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and they just put the. That's crazy. That's gotta suck for those countries and like those those like project for a new American century things come out and they're like, yeah, the problems are Sudan, Iraq, Iran, yeah, and they're probably yeah, they're yeah. probably like, well, this this is gonna be a shitty next twenty years, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, and he was and he was the he was the example. Yeah, they made it. he and was Saddam too. Saddam too. They were like, well, I mean, but even more Gaddafi because when they, by the time they got to Libya, it was like. I mean, we're way past 9-11. Like, why do we need to do this, you know? I feel like, okay, so... uh, Also, I don't... uh, I was going to say... I was about to say fucking... Out of those two, I'll pick Saddam because he had weapons of mass destruction. Then I was like, no, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't, actually. (laughs) Maybe that's why we pass him on, because he was being honest. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Honesty is key. Yeah. Like, I don't have them. We're like, yeah, yeah. we'll find out, dude. <laughs> we'll find them when we get there. Don't worry. Yeah. I, by the way, I can't believe they didn't just lie and say that they, they found them. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. it was the United Nations, though, that went in and said there wasn't any mass weapons of mass destruction. So. That's so but we did yeah. definitely yeah. treat them like, like the minority in the gas station. And we were like, hey, what do you got in your pockets? And we're like, look, I'm just fucking shopping here. Yeah. And we're like, no, 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 no. Empty. What, what are you stealing right now? Right. He's like, no, I'm fucking. And then we created ISIS. So <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was my that was my coworker just being like, I this is horrible. <laughs> I got to get back. Yeah, uh, definitely. We'll do this we'll last do, round. We'll do, we'll do, uh, I'm going to go Genghis Khan again just for fashion. Uh, and yeah, then he's like, we've gotten to the point in our culture where like, even though. When, when was he around? Two thousand years ago. Whenever uh, he was around, people were probably terrified of. But now we're like, let's make a video game out of him. You know, like that's true. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and nobody's gonna make a video game where you like pretend to be Saddam Hussein or Hitler. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. Or definitely. Well, they did make a video game. I think where you're like, did they really? They made a couple like right, like. <laughs> dude, there's this one movie. Yeah, it's not like white people like don't know how to code. Dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. They yeah. Can, dude. Dude, <laughs> like, there's a movie where. And uh, my sister's dad showed this movie to me on Netflix, and I don't know how he found it, but it's it's uh, it's all in German, and it's somehow Hitler Hitler wakes up in modern day London. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very weird, but I watched it all. So isn't that called uh, Jojo Rabbit? Yeah. Was it like pro? <laughs> was it like pro Hitler or like no? He like learns from his. I think he's learning from his. I don't really remember. It was very weird. I, error of his way. I'm wondering if I've even should have brought it up. To be honest yeah, with you, yeah. <laughs> he like wakes up in Israel. He's like, I actually smoked fish. It's like very like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really. I might have jumped the gun. On yeah. This. I might have jumped the gas chamber on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What else? laughs> uh, all right. So between those four, I got like five minutes, and I got. All right. Go. All right. So we could do. We could finish it real quick. Ivan. Or the Kims, Ivan or the wait, are we, okay, Ivan or the Kims? Yeah, gotta go Kims. Kims, dude. yeah, Ivan Terrible was not friends with the uh, any, any NBA players. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, so that's gonna cross the line, dude. Uh, Popes or Genghis Khan? Genghis Khan or the Popes, dude? If Popes we go, are swishing three go, pointers. If we go Kims versus Cons, that's a little. Too should close. should we keep even... Popes for the final round and go Kim's versus Khan? I love that, dude. That sounds like Let's a Godzilla go... movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I. That's what I'm afraid of. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like these are two very serious historical figures. <laughs> <laughs> You're acting like it's fucking Mothra, dude. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> racist piece oh, of shit. Oh, the Popes are definitely Mothra, <laughs> dude. Like, uh, Kim Lee and Kim Conley Jong-un just smashing fucking Billy. <laughs> uh, 
like, okay, now this one I'm going to take real serious, dude. We're going to go, like, in terms of, like, legit warfare, cons definitely have it because the Kims are, like, not running. They're not. They're not, they're not, not going to. They all their stuff is intellectual with their own and people. They torture within yeah. the house. Yeah. They're, they're not going yeah, out. They, yeah. they don't have money. They don't have like a lot of infrastructure. Oh, true. The cons are uh, fucking so much shit up that the popes are like, let them do it. You know what yeah, I mean? Totally. They're, totally. They're like well, we're gonna stay over here. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind you of play the thing. Over there, so yeah. Yeah, over yeah, there. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, between Kim's and cons, I'm going. I'm going cons all day. Those guys are gonna fucking run through that pussy, dude. It's so it still be. comes down to cons, con versus popes, dude. Cons versus popes. Best of the worst all time. Damn, dude. Best of the worst. Um, <sighs> lots of conquering from both. I feel like yeah, they're both in like honor really. Sinead O'Connor. We go all popes. Ooh. I don't think she would like that. Yeah, I think she, <laughs> she kind of she hated the pope. But, but that thing. could be a she reason to make them the best of the worst. The best of or they They're are the, the best, best of, the of the worst. Yeah. You know? We also are going to do. It's called the Hall of Lame. Whoever wins yeah. this round, we're going to put their photo up and. So okay. we're gonna have yeah, to we're going to get all 527 okay, popes. Hitler win all yeah. <laughs> well, God damn it, dude. We already, we already got, uh, you know. If I would have known what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yes, exactly. Uh, all right, which pope are you going to pick to go up? It's all of them. It's, you have to yeah, we're going to do it. Pope? Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. Like image, It's going to be like the photo of The Shining. <laughs> yeah. or, or like uh, Sergeant Pepper's. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just all when you, when you When you turn it, it's going to change. You know what I mean? Like, like those old things. To the victims. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking kind of Captain Crunch. It's like, oops, all popes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like all I think we're going popes, dude. All right, popes. Best, best of the worst. worst. The holy victory. I think it's all thanks to it, Jesus, dude. dude. <laughs> all right. I gotta go smoke a cigarette before I leave. You want to uh, plug your escape room or something? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> do you want to at least... look for me. <laughs> uh, I want to say Slaughterhouse Studios. Uh, don't forget to give this page a follow if you are listening. Follow Slaughterhouse Studios. Follow Recreational Outrage. Uh, comments and likes go so stupid far. If you actually do comment, and dude, I send them to yeah. Dylan every single time. Yeah, I get a cool comment. I'm like, dude, look. We got people person. in Serbia commenting on our stuff. Good. I, just, yeah. no, and we, I feel like somebody's gonna be like, yeah, Momar Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna have something to say. We, well, we, 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 we can revisit. It took us two years to finish this, so we'll we'll revisit it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> um. Uh, you said Slaughterhouse. I'll say uh, just yes. how is Ross Lounge every Saturday. Open mic starts at 9 o'clock. Uh, October 7th at How is Ross Lounge. we got Zach Reiner coming through. He's going to be running his hour before he records his album at the Comedy Fort. Uh, Britt Boyd's on that. Trenton Cotton's on that. And then, uh, yeah, October 20th. We're doing the fucking live pod from the coffee joint. I am excited about first time. ever. Fuck yeah. We got some guests, dude. We got fucking Mike Hawkburns is coming through, Fuck dude. Yeah, he's man. Mike Capolino is <laughs> coming through. We got uh, Perfect, whatever Mike's. whatever Spaghetti Jake and Dave Ness's characters are called. They're gonna come through. Rap bastard. Perfect. Rap bastard. Hell Spaghetti yeah. Jake. And Spaghetti Jake. They're coming right through. On. We might add some add some people, dude. It's gonna be a good time, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, to tickets to, to at all all the coffee joint shows, which is the live podcast, and then also other stuff, uh, is always four dollars and twenty cents and you get a vape for free. Oh nice. So hell yeah, dude. That's Thanks for coming on the pod. Yeah, no problem. Hell yeah. Thanks for having me. Yep. Dude. This Fuck has been Recreational head, Outrage. Corey Cooley. Fuck yeah. Thanks, dude. Thank Fuck you, yeah. Man. Goodbye. Fuck yeah. Recreational outrage. <laughs> Recreational.